So now we have seen the important uh, Unicode character sequence the string and uh, then we saw the totally heterogeneous uh, sequence, uh, the list uh, that can contain anything. So the fact that it can contain anything makes it uh, powerful, but uh, then it uh, can also be a bit of a memory hog. And uh, this uh, important uh, integer sequence range uh, for uh, arithmetic progression sounds fancy, but it is just uh, count to five. One, two, three, four, five. That, that is an arithmetic progression. And uh, because we're gonna be using those all the time uh, in doing things, uh, because we have to keep track of how many times we've done something. So uh, if I asked you to uh, do something five times, you'd count one, two, three, four, five. So you're actually iterating mentally through a range of uh, arithmetic uh, progression. And uh, now to illustrate them, uh, then also we get to uh, see what is the difference between between an eager sequence and a lazy sequence. So now for that purpose, we're gonna be importing a CIS module. So CIS is a module with the functions allowing the Python program to look into the Python virtual machine and the environment where the program's running in to do a bit of introspection to see what is the current state of the computation and what is going on. So now let's make range and uh, if you want a simple range uh, so let's have the numbers uh, from uh, let's keep this uh, nice and small so numbers from 0 to 999 so uh, the range uh, so uh, it has the parameters are 0 based and uh, same as in the slicing and index is uh, exclusive, so this uh, would contain the numbers from 0 to 999. So this one would now contain the numbers from 42 to 999, and uh, you can also give a step size. So all the numbers from 42 up to 1000 with uh, the step size of uh, 7. So uh, here we have a uh, have a range, an arithmetic progression from 0 to 999. And then to make a point, so let's make an equivalent list object. So apply the function list to something, you get the list of those. So let's ask the sys module get size of. So asking how much memory is allocated for both. So let's find out. So uh, the range object, because it only needs to remember the start value, step size and the end value, so internally has to remember three integers. So uh, the range is internally stored into a data object that is 48 bytes in size, whereas the list uh, contains all the elements explicitly in the memory and uh, now it takes uh, this many bytes uh, to store the list. So notice the difference in the, in the memory and would become even more dramatic. Let's make a 100,000 element uh, list. So now the range object still only has to remember three integers. They were still small enough that they didn't need extra space to store those. Whereas the list now already contains like 800 kilobytes of uh, memory. So now notice uh, because the ar arithmetic progression is such a regular uh, uh, type of sequence so then it can be expressed very compactly the list uh, so it is both in a sense this both contain the same information so for example if we ask uh, what is the sum of the range and uh, what is the sum of uh, the elements in the list we notice that they both uh, contain the exact uh, same uh, sum of elements and if we ask uh, so what is the your 40 second element and ask what is your 40 second element we find out that uh, it's exactly the same so in a sense so this uh, lazy sequence range and uh, the eager sequence list uh, they contain the same information but uh, because that information is so such a regular nature so uh, it can be expressed uh, more compactly only 48 bytes in a lazy sequence and 800 uh, kilobytes uh, in the eager so uh, of course we always use a lazy sequence when our sequence is uh, simple enough that it can be compactly represented but this just mathematically combinatorially cannot be true for 
most sequences. So how do we use, uh, what, what is it that uh, using this all the memory takes uh, is the fact that in a list uh, every element can be whatever and uh, because all the elements are eagerly stored in memory so they exist independently of each other and therefore each one can be independently be, to be changed whatever but uh, when we have a compact representation of an arithmetic progression we cannot say we cannot plug in that you know the element in the offset 99 we actually want to be a string so uh, uh, this is the difference between a lazy sequence and an eager sequence. Another difference, it's not illustrated here, finish up this video, uh, is that uh, uh, the, for the lazy sequences, uh, this uh, slicing operator does not uh, necessarily have to exist. Now for uh, arithmetic progression, because the math is so straightforward, so then uh, the slicing operator can be defined, but uh, we'll see lazy sequences that we're going to define that uh, they simply cannot allow random access. If you want to get to the millionth element of the sequence, there is no random access uh, jump directly there without visiting go, uh, but uh, you have to generate all million first elements to find out uh, what is the million element of the sequence and it is just that uh, the way it is and we cannot change that.